Regulation G means restricted Pokemon are finally here once again. And people are having a lot of fun with uh, absolute powerhouses like Zacian, like Shadow Rider Calyrex, like Groudon, Miraidon, Terrapagos. You get the idea. But already, even in the early meta, some restricted Pokemon are being left behind. And it's just not fair. They should get a chance to show what powerhouses they are as well. So. Anyway, we're running a Cosmog team today. Uh, if you didn't know that Cosmog is a restricted Pokemon, surprise, here it is in all its uh, majesty. Um, we're running Splash because that's a move that it learns, Teleport because that's a move that it learns, uh, Rocky Helmet because it deserves a nice little helmet to protect it and also that gives it a chance to do something in battle other than pivot. Terra Stellar because Cosmog deserves to uh, show off all of its glory with a nice fancy turtle crown and four speed EVs so that Showdown doesn't yell at me for not having any. Serious nature, because of course, this is serious business. Um, and then the rest of the team is uh, here to try to win games. So you got a basic Assault Vest Rillaboom, especially Bulky Incineroar, Scarf Rapid Striker Shifu, um, Calm Mind Raging Bolt, and um, what's it called? Life Orb, Landorus Incarnate. Um, we can that way try to play double fake out games and set up Raging Bolt or get a substitute off with Landorus and hopefully we win some games here. So uh, I might be the first player trying out Cosmog. Let's see what it can do for us. Uh, <laughs> maybe we'll get some insight on the meta as I gear up for potentially another trip to NAIC. Um, open team sheets if my opponent does it first, of course. And let's get that automatic timer setting on. This player has what looks like a hard Trick Room team. Although I'm not sure what the Zekrom does. I mean, Zekrom can be relatively slow for restricted Pokemon. This could be hard to deal with. Um, I don't know that <laughs> don't know that Trick Room is a matchup that I thought about when I built this team. And of course, I can't fake out the Mimikyu. What I can do is get off an Intimidate and a Parting Shot into something. And... They don't have Redirection. And Landorus can get off a strong hit into Zekrom or Rhyperior, but not into their Landorus or Raquinid. Um, let's try my Terra Fairy Raging Bolt in the lead. And... I'll bring Rillaboom and my Landorus. Let's see. They do go Mimikyu Zekrom lead. So we get the Intimidate off on the Zekrom, and we can... I think I'm down to just Parting Shot it. And uh, Terra Fairy... Well, hold on, here's the thing, I don't have a way to hit the Mimikyu with my Raging Bolt. And I don't want to let the Mimikyu sit there forever. No, I think it's okay, I think I'll just Terra Fairy Dragon Ball Zekrom. Should have known it would protect, didn't really think that one through, huh? Missed a chance to break the disguise there, but uh, they get their trick room up, and I'm just gonna go for my parting shot now and protect my Raging Bolt. As they do what? Well, Incineroar goes first. I'll take the chance to bring... Actually, actually I'll bring my Landorus in, because it threatens the Zekrom then. So they go for Fusion Bolt into my Raging Bolt with their minus two attack really worried about Shadow Claw, and here, I don't think the Zekrom should stay in. I'll try to get a substitute, and I will, well, if they're just going to attack with Mimikyu, then I can break the disguise, so I'm down to try. Okay, they do let me do that. And I actually just stay in with the Zekrom, so my substitute is um, really not doing me any favors here, but I can protect Landorus this turn and Dragon Pulse the Zekrom. I could also be setting up Raging Bolt here, actually. That might be better. Because that's what I'm trying to win with, but no. Okay, my opponent forfeits. <laughs> sure. Uh, Alright, so we've won a game with this team, but I think we should try to win a game where we bring Cosmog at some point. Because I'm not really showing off Cosmog's power if I don't use Cosmog. Um, this is... okay, it's an Ice Rider Trick Room team. Everybody's using Trick Room on the low ladder, except me. Uh, Incineroar lead feels good here again. It is a safety goggles Incineroar, so there's not much on this team that very obviously threatens it other than the Urshifu. 
think Incineroar is very strong in a lead spot. Unfortunately, my two main offensive pieces are both weak to Ice. And then my Urshifu is weak to Fairy from the Ninetales or the Furigraph. But I think I do bring my Urshifu here. Um, I'll bring Cosmog because I want to win a game with Cosmog. And I'll bring Landorus and hope that I can find a way to make it do something. But yeah, this matchup looks rough. Um, <laughs> there may be some rough matchups for this team, despite how much I've been talking it up. Uh, okay, I can't stop them from faking out my Urshifu. Unless my Incineroar... Oh, well, I can't fake out theirs anyway because of the Furigraph. So I'm just going to knock off into Furigraph, and I'm going to hard switch Urshifu out for Cosmog and hope that I can chip their Incineroar. Terra Fairy, Furigraph. We do get some Rocky Helmet chip on the Incineroar, and we get to see what they bring in now. It's the Calyrex. Knock off goes off into the Furigraph and gets rid of a Life Orb. That's interesting. Okay. But we're immediately in a pretty bad position here. I think my best play is just to Terra Water my Urshifu and go for Surging Strikes into Calyrex. Turning off the weakness to a Fairy or Psychic Attack from the Ferrigraph, and um, I mean, it could be running Grass Move, but at least we resist. What's it called? What is it called? Glacial Lance with both of my Pokemon? They've used their Terra, so the Calyrex can't Terra around a Flare Blitz now. That's kind of nice. And I'm just going to Terra Surging Strikes and hope they let me have this. Live a high horsepower that's very good. Incineroar goes down, but it doesn't give Calyrex the attack boost. But I think anything I try from here is too little too late. Um, as I'm left with my Landorus. Um, I'll just protect, I guess. But yeah, there's there's not really any out here. The Glacial Lance will not take out my Urshifu, but the Dazzling Gleam will, and that is GG. Cosmog put in some work, but uh, couldn't quite close out the win. I wouldn't say that constitutes really showing what it can do. So let's see what else we can get. Regialaki and a Swampert. What does Swampert do? It's only Mega Swampert that gets Swift Swim, right? I think it gets Wide Guard. So I have to keep that in mind. They do have a Zacian as well. Um, this is another team that doesn't really want to deal with Incineroar, I think. And Landorus is pretty strong here too, except into the Swampert. So I'm going to lead those two. Bring Cosmog in the back. Give it a chance to... Uh, Unleash Hell on the opponent, and I think Rillaboom's okay here. I don't know. It's strong into like half their team and weak into like half their team, but we'll give it a try. I'm not that inspired by Raging Bolt in this matchup. Alright, we get the Intimidate off into their Zacian turn one, so that's nice. Um, maybe I actually would have been better off with Terra Steel Landris instead of Terra Poison. I think I'll change that after this game, but... I'm just going to go right for a Flare Blitz into, and an Earth Power into Zacian. Probably get at least one of those attacks off. I suppose they could protect and blow up their Alaki or something, but I'm not going to make a read like that right now. They just bring in Swampert. They do protect their Zacian. Um, but I'm not terribly afraid of the Swampert, am I? Not like a huge damage threat, I don't think. I mean, it has a respectable attack stat, but... If I can land a strong hit on the Zacian, or force it out and land potentially two strong hits on something else, that's good news for me, right? We take that Sacred Sword pretty nicely and one-shot the Zacian with Earth Power. Love to see it. Um, we even take a Liquidation. Flare Bliss isn't going to do much back. Maybe it'll burn. No, that's okay. And here, I feel like I can pretty safely parting shot and protect. Um, Landorus lives to get one more attack off into something, and I can pivot to Rillaboom here. 
or the Swampert goes before my Incineroar. Forgot. Whoops, my bad. But now we get Rillaboom in. And... Did they Terra yet? They didn't, right? So what I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna go... I'm just gonna go for a Wood Hammer into the Swampert slot. If it Terra's around that, good for them, but... I can't safely switch Regieleki in if that's their play. And I'll preserve Landorus a little longer by switching to Cosmog. There it is. They do switch out to Regieleki, but this doesn't want to take... Yeah, we knock it down to its Sash, but then we have the priority Grassy Glide the next turn. They do have Sludge Bomb on the Amoongus. Cosmog tanks the Sludge Bomb. Let's go, Cosmog. And we'll Grassy Glide the Aleki here. And... Um... I guess just splash. <laughs> they could grass. They, they can. Uh, they can sludge bomb my Rillaboom, but it is assault vest Rillaboom. Doesn't even take half of its remaining HP. I guess the poison damage changes that, but nobody wants to take this grassy glide. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because the thing is, they can knock out my Rillaboom here, but I think not if I Terra. We'll Grassy Glide, and we'll Splash again. Get rid of the Aleki. Cosmog showing off a little bit. Rillaboom should be living. Does the Swampert have Protect? I guess absent more information, I have to assume it probably does. Um, I'm actually running out of ways to beat the Amogus, so I think we're going to lose this one. <laughs> but I'll just try to Grassy Glide into the Swampert. Terrifier. Okay. Good job by them. Preserving that for now. As um, Cosmog goes down. And we can get rid of the Swampert here, but uh, not the Amoongus. So we'll have to try again. Uh, we can't even get rid of the Swampert because of the Rage Powder. Of course. Alright, well. We'll go again. This is a Venusaur Walking Wake Sun team. They've also got Shift Tree, so probably with Chlorophyll and uh, Tailwind. I think he gets Tailwind. Fake out from the Ambipom, I assume, and an Okie Doggy. Uh, Incineroar's nice here, except into the Okie Dog Okie Doggy, I think. Keep doing that. So I think we lead Incineroar. Landorus. We bring Rillaboom for sure, and then Cosmog, of course, because we're trying to win with Cosmog. That's the goal at this point. We've already shown that we can win without Cosmog. We don't even need the raw power that, that, that Cosmog provides, but I'm going to see what we can do without it as well. I think I'm just going to Terra, Terra Incineroar right now, because I don't want it getting annihilated by Precipice Blades, and I'll go... I'll fake out the dog. Try to pick it up with Earth Power. I guess this way, if we don't pick it up with Earth Power, because we could have an Assault Vest or something, then hopefully we deny it an attack. Um, Swords Dance Groudon could be a, a problem, considering how much I'm ignoring it to focus on the Okie Dogie. But, listen, I'm doing what I can. My restricted Pokemon is biding its time in the back. Um, I can't just have a restricted showdown here. We do get rid of the dog. It's body press Groudon. Good thing we turned off our weakness to that too. Get the walking wake here. I think I just knock off that and switch to Rillaboom. Take that Hydro Steam. Actually, not that well. Oh, no. The knockoff does a lot back. Get rid of the specs, so that's good. It'll do less damage from here. And... I'm gonna Parting Shot... Uh, they could have... The, the only problem with knocking off their specs is now they can go for a Fire Attack into my Rillaboom. Pretty serious problem actually. So I think 
I'm actually going to knock off again and Grassy Glide. Try to get rid of the Walking Wake. That does a lot of damage. My Rillaboom goes down. Single target Precipice Blades. Doesn't KO Incineroar. And we finish off the Walking Wake. And now, bring Landorus right back in. Against the Venusaur. Um, Incineroar does not take another Precipice Blades. But I'll just try to Flare Blitz the Venusaur just in case. I'll protect Landorus. And we're kind of just trying to stall out the Sun at this point. We can protect Landorus and then switch to Cosmog. And the Sun will be gone. I just go for Solar Beam, but into Landorus. And crunch into Landorus, so Incineroar does live, and it gets to take out the Venusaur at the cost of its own HP. Cosmog is here, and folks, we're clicking Terra Stellar... Oh no, we can't. We already terrestrialized. Never mind. <laughs> we're just gonna splash it Earth Power. But, uh... this Terra Fairy Groudon? It still doesn't take that Earth Power very well, and I don't know why they're going for Crunch. I don't know why they even have that. But, they forfeit! And look at that, Cosmog on the winning side of the battle. Um, and frame that. Cosmog showing what it can do. You don't sleep on any restricted Pokemon in this format. But, uh, how many games have I lost so far? Two? I'll keep playing until I lose one more. Already got a win with Cosmog, so nothing to prove at this point. Um, but Justice for Sceptile here. I agree, good cause. He's running a Terrapagos team with Screamtail. Uh, I've been experimenting with Terrapagos teams myself a little bit. I feel like I don't know what supports I want around it. It'll be interesting to see what this does. But... Lead Incineroar, as usual, with, I think, Landorus to try to take out some Glamora cheese. And I'll bring her Shifu for sure. And I think I'll bring Rillaboom. Let's see what we can do. They lead their own Rapid Strike or Shifu with the Terrapagos. Um, as I'm just going to fake out an Earth Power into the Urshifu slot. Maybe kind of playing into Terrapagos' hands here, but this thing's a threat. Yeah, okay. Maybe should have read that. But the Trapagos protects anyway, so I don't really lose anything playing it this way. And in fact, I take out their Incineroar, so that's pretty good. Your Shifu makes things tricky for me now. Hmm. I'm going to try to knock off the Trapagos. Actually, I can even Terra so that I definitely get to do that. And I'll switch Landorus out for Rillaboom. They terrestrialize right here. No boosts or anything. We tank that Surging Strikes. Um, they don't even get to take advantage of Terra Shell. As the Star Storm does some chip, but... Star Storm... Star Storm KOs Incineroar this turn. I could switch to my or Shifu. In fact, I think I'm okay with that. And I'm just gonna wood hammer their Shifu and try to get rid of it. <laughs> Surging Strikes doesn't do much. It does make me a little more vulnerable to the Star Storm, which almost knocks out my or Shifu. We trade Rillaboom for their or Shifu. And here we can get Incineroar back in with Fake Out available. into, I guess, the speed-boosting Screamtail. Not ideal, for sure, but doing what we can here. Would have preferred to fake out the Terrapagos if this weren't such a threat, but it is, realistically, in this position. So we faked that out. The good news, of course, is that they can't protect the Terrapagos from my close combat. We'll get big damage. And in fact, I think that knocked it out. Its HP bar is covered. Okay, it didn't knock it out. 
Ah, uh, the HP bar tricked me. Well, okay, Screamtail doesn't do very much damage. We'll per Does Tropicos get recover? I'm not taking my chances. I'm gonna Earth Power it this turn. Probably, even if it learns that, it probably doesn't have it, but... Yeah, I was, see, I was thinking about covering for that, but... Like I said, didn't want to take my chances. Um, and the Screamtail's play rough is really not doing much to my Landorus, so I can pretty safely Earth Power the Terrapagos again, as they miss the double protect. I forgot about the Disable! Oh no! Ah, uh, it's been so long since I played into Screamtail, I forgot how to do it. Oh no, I threw! Ah, I needed to sludge bomb the Terrapagos there. Well, you know what it is. Um, I didn't bring Cosmog, so I took an L. What can you do? Um, that's the lesson. Always bring Cosmog. No need to test it out some more. We've already seen it. So, hey, if you're playing Regulation G right now, don't sleep on some of these underrated restricted Pokemon, because you never know what they're going to show up and do. Um, but that's it. Happy gaming. Bye-bye, a go-go.